In 2019, a 7-foot-2 16-year-old by the name of Kai Soto took over the internet, but why? At just 16 years of age, Kai Soto was already labeled as the future of the NBA, and he was drawing comparisons to Yao Ming due to his 7-foot-2 frame and his 7-foot-5 wingspan. Kai started to get attention of fans when he absolutely dominated at the FIBA U16 Asian Championship where we saw him average 16.8 points per game, 13.5 rebounds per game, and 2.5 blocks per game. Kai took home the MVP of the tournament as well. Rumors surfaced that Kai received a five-year, $1 million contract by EuroLeague team Real Madrid, the same team that Luka Doncic spent four years with before being drafted third by the Mavericks. Soto saw the EuroLeague as a pathway to the NBA and Soto received a total of four offers from EuroLeague teams at 16 but Kai's management shut all of those deals down for some unknown reason. At this point in time Kai was viewed as the top international prospect in the world and in May of 2020 Kai Soto joined Jalen Green and signed with the newly formed G League Ignite which was a program to help prospects make it to the next level. Soto took a step away from G League Ignite in January to play for Gilas Filipinas in the third window of the 2021 FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers. But this poor decision would end up making Kai Soto leave the G League Ignite due to G League Ignite coach Brian Shaw believing it was too late in the season for Kai to play with Ignite, and in February of 2021 it was announced that Kai Soto has left the program and without a team to play for Kai Soto then signed with the Adelaide 36ers one month after leaving the G League. Kai was still one of the best international prospects at this time and even Paul Pierce claimed he was the next Nikola Jokic. In the summer of 2021, Kai Soto got a chance to play against NBA talent, and with that, Kai played against Boban Marjanovic and the Serbia national team. Kai played very well and put up 10 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists in just 20 minutes of action. Kai Soto missed the beginning of the NBL season due to a knee injury, but when he got healthy, he played pretty good for the 36ers. The 36ers missed out on the finals, and Kai averaged 7.5 points per game, 4.5 rebounds per game, and about a block per game. Soto showed many flashes of potential. Soto scored double digits on eight occasions, and he really showed his ability to contest shots at the rim. His shot looked amazing, but he didn't shoot as much as he should. Kai had a 21-point explosion in only 18 minutes against the Brisbane Bullets in April. Unfortunately, this wasn't enough to get him any serious draft consideration, but in April, Kai Soto announced that he will be declaring for the 2022 NBA draft. Many people believed he should have waited another year, but Kai kept his name in the draft. Kai worked out with about 13 NBA teams. Sources close to the NBA reported that Kai's workouts did not go well and he is likely to not get drafted and Kai's agent Joel Bell confirmed these reports. Along with not performing well in these workouts, Kai also suffered an injury in the workouts. With all of the bad news surrounding Soto and these reports from NBA teams, Kai's agent Joel Bell claimed NBA teams will still draft him. Then on draft night, unfortunately, Kai Soto went undrafted in the 2022 NBA draft. And instead of trying to get an NBA contract or play in the NBA Summer League, which is huge for prospects, Kai's agent Joel Bell suggested that Kai opts to play with the Philippines national team instead of the NBA Summer League, which was a terrible decision. In July of 2022, Kai Soto finally parted ways with agent Joel Bell and he joined Wasserman Sports. In July of 2022, Kai Soto announced he will be returning to the NBL with the Adelaide 36ers for another season, which I believe was the right move. Kai joins a stacked 36ers squad who could possibly win the NBL finals, and if the cards fall into place, we could definitely see Kai in the NBA Summer League next year. I believe Kai Soto should 100% be in the NBA, but the decisions him and his management have made in the last couple years have made it very hard. The first wrong move I believe Kai made was rejecting EuroLeague teams who were offering him contracts. The second wrong move I believe Kai made was leaving the G League Ignite. And the third wrong move was declaring for the 2022 NBA draft. I believe he would have benefited a ton if he didn't declare. A lot of Kai's decisions were impacted by his agent Joel Bell. Bell screwed Soto over a ton in the last few years, and a lot of people blame his agent for Kai not being in the NBA. 
Now that Joel Bill is gone and Kai has new management, what do you think about Kai? How good is Kai Soto actually and will Kai become the first Filipino-born player to reach the NBA?